Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're in Act 6.2, and this is the third quest of the second chapter. And we're going to go in here and show you guys the easiest path. That's the easiest path. You don't have to deal with anything but the globals. So let's talk about this global Icarus. All right, so when the defender is struck by an attack or stunned by a parry, the attacker is going to gain a fury buff. Okay, that's going to increase their damage. But if they get too many of those, then they're going to take a degen. Now, you can fire off a heavy attack to reset the counter. That's it. That is all you have to do. It doesn't matter who you bring. You can do this with anyone. You can play around with that. Um, you can play around the global node. Now, what makes Ghost so awesome for this is with the hood synergy, Ghost does not take any damage while she is phased. So I can just go hard and yes, I'll get that degen, but I will phase and I'm not gonna take any damage. So if you do plan on coming in here with Ghost, bring hood and you're gonna have a fine time. If you don't have hood, just know that you have to fire off heavy attacks frequently to reset that counter. That's all. This is probably the easiest quest in the entire chapter. All right. So you can see I'm just ripping through them. You know, it's not like Ghost needed more attack, right? But you can see just how much damage she is capable of with those buffs. All right, so you can see here, 11K crit right off the start. All right, now I'm starting to do just the one hits. So that 18K, 20K, 36K. Those are some mean crits, 42K crit. So you want to do, just like uh, in a previous chapter, you want to just do one hit, phase one hit. That's all. Uh, in the beginning, before you have... Um, a lot of furies built up you can hit her you know hit your opponent more than once but you're gonna see the greatest damage by just doing a phase one hit combo all right so you can see I went and made sure that I was on the right path uh, but this is the easiest path they don't have anything that you have to really worry about it's only the global node so you should have a fine time even if you don't have ghost uh, another champion that you would do well with here is Captain America Infinity War, uh, Hyperion, uh, pretty much anyone that has a strong heavy attack, but you don't really need a strong heavy attack. But if you play with a champion that does have a strong heavy attack, you're more likely to use that heavy attack as part of their rotation. You know, like Hyperion... One of the things that I always do is parry heavy. So I don't have to worry about those furies. Okay? And with Hyperion, you're going to spam that special one, take them out. You can spam the special two, take them out. Yeah, this, this particular global was fun. I love it. And it was a delight. Just look at those crits. Okay? And you see, I actually took some damage because I got the degen and I decided to hit like a one two combo, and that allowed the degen to uh, do damage. You don't want to spend a lot of time outside of your phase when you're already at the fury limit and you're going to take that degen. All right, so here I'm looking again because I do not want to deal with that sinister, do not go up there just yet, okay. Um, that is not on the easy path. All right. So these champions that we're facing here, there's really nothing too special. If you know how to fight them ordinarily, you're not going to have any problems whatsoever. Okay. We're just doing the same thing. Okay. Um, right here, we got the uh, eight furies. Um, I believe that's what it was. Eight furies. And then you start taking a degen. All right, so you saw that we had worked up to eight furies, and then we just started 
doing one hit combos, trying to stay in phase as much as possible. And that's pretty much it. You know, we tore through this path and we're coming up to the end now. So I'm just like, okay, let's just keep on having ourselves some fun. 13K, okay, 15K, still ramping up, 14K, and her regular attacks are doing some good damage as well because of those Furies. So you might be tempted to hit more like I was, but don't do it. You'll start degening, and it's not a fun time. All right, so we've got uh, Dr. Voodoo down. Next up, we've got Thor, the God of Thunder, OG God. And I like Thor. I would not mind getting him as a five-star. Um, I do think he needs to be awakened, but I wouldn't mind getting him at all. Okay, so you see all those red numbers? Thanks to those Furies. Okay, so now, one hit, back out, one hit, back out, 45k, boom, 53k, crit. Just ugly. Lots of fun. I believe this was actually the quickest uh, quest as well. Like, the uh, last one took me a while, uh, much longer than this. You know, a good, I don't know, 10 minutes longer than this one. All right, so you see here, nothing that I saw there gave me any kind of worry. Yes, this is Omega Red, but thanks to that Icarus, just look at the damage. We're just gonna play him just like we normally would play him anywhere else. Look at that, 21K, 24K, 30K, 38K. We're just chopping him down, boom. Look at that crit damage. Fight's over. And that's going to do it, guys. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. Uh, let me know your experiences with this uh, particular quest and whether you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have ghosts, let me know. And you all have a blessed day.